Hi, this is Andrew for Geek News Central, and this afternoon we're going to take a look at the Inoxen Rome. Now, the Rome is a 41mm GMT in this style of a dive watch. It's Inoxen's first, um, first GMT watch, and for those of you who don't know Inoxen, they are a uh, they're based in uh, South Belfast in Northern Ireland uh, and they come from a Scandinavian roots hence their kind of Enoxen name. So here's the watch here uh, as you can kind of see it it's very much in the diver's style we've got to see the, the uh, GMT hand and we've got obviously a GMT style bezel around the outside. So let's just get it out of the bag so we can see it more clearly. Now in terms of pricing the, it's very competitively priced I think for a GMT it's uh, the, the RRP is £375. Uh, you can get a discount on it at the moment. I think it's on sale at about £285. Um, I pre-ordered it, so I've been waiting for, waiting for it for a little while. Uh, and here we can kind of see it in a bit more detail. Well, as I say, it's very much in the diver style. You've got, and, but you've got a 24-hour bezel around the outside. Uh, you've got the GMT hand here, uh, and you can just kind of see the Anoxon brand, very uh, very subtly printed, shall we say, onto the uh, onto the face. Sorry about the reflections. It's just the nature of uh, of watches, I'm afraid, and windows and things like that. So let's just have a wee look round. You've got to kind of see a bit of a, an engraving. You can uh, the the kind of K almost of uh, Inoxen is on on the on the crown there, and we've got crown guards. So obviously this is a, a pretty ideal. Uh, summer watch or uh, holiday watch you've got a good water resistance as well up to 300 meters you can kind of see there and you do have, obviously have that GMT feature for uh, for traveling to keep track of the home time uh, whilst you're uh, whilst you're away now the bezel um, for those of you who are used to dive watches this isn't going to be a, a 30 click or a 60 click or 120 click it's very much just uh, how should we say uh, is that a 24 hour 24 click uh, and that it just picks up on the, if you like, the hours and the half hours. Okay, so yes, you can hear it clicking around there. Now, if I unscrew the crown, um, I understand from the instructions that if I just pull it out one click, I should be able to adjust the, and there they go. If I, if I turn it clockwise, you can adjust the 24 hour hand, you can see it spinning around. And if I adjust it anti-clockwise, it changes the date, you can kind of see it there. And if I pull it out all the way, obviously I can uh, change the the time itself, and you can kind of see at that point it's it's locked in with the uh, the 24 hour hand as well, which is which is what you'd expect. Very good. Let's just push it in all and and yeah, you can't you probably can't hear it, but there's quite a nice winding feel to it. And let's just give it a tap to get it going. There we go. You can kind of see it clicking away now, so nicely. So I'll just bring it a bit closer so you can, so you can see it. And it is hacking seconds, so if I wait till it gets to the top, um, we'll be able to pull it out and it'll stop. There we go, so that's it. That's it stopped, and I can now adjust the time to uh, to be what I want it to be. So let's just set it for about five o'clock. There we go. I'm just push it back in and hopefully. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. So it's obviously need a bit of a wind to keep it going. It is an automatic, and I think as I said, earlier it's based on the Seiko I think it's the NH34 I think is the uh, is the mechanism inside yeah the Seiko NH34 and it's uh, 316L stainless steel um, now this is a rubber strap but uh, and it's, it's, to be honest it's not a bad rubber strap at all but there is a, a stainless steel bracelet I believe coming and also uh, an improved rubber strap so um, if you are if you are purchasing it you probably will get those um, rather than this particular strap that's on the uh, on the on the watch at the moment so that's all pretty good quite quite impressed with that especially I mean I think it's great value for money at, uh, at 375 never mind the 285 that it's on sale at the moment it really is a an excellent rubber watch now I believe as you can kind of see from the reflections it is a ceramic bezel um, again it's a new feature to an oxen I think it looks pretty good. You can kind of, you can feel the, the engraving of the, uh, the, the numbers, so it's really nice. Okay, let me uh, let me just see what else is in the box. Okay, so there's a nice little uh, suede effect leather, so you can 
keep you watching there. Just so, to, so there's a nice little card in there that stops any scratching from the rivet. So that's good. Pop that back in there. Um, as you might have seen, there was a nice little introduction card. So a shout out to Oliver and also to Hans, who's the founder of Inoxum. Also in the box are the instructions. So we can kind of see some of the things I was talking about earlier. So bring it up the first position to set the uh, date and the GMT, set the time, pull it out to the second position and things like that. So uh, it's, it's nice to see very simple instructions in there. The other thing in there is just the, uh, it's just the kind of receipt. So don't need to see that. Um, let's just put it on the wrist and see what it's like. Right, so we give the obligatory wrist roll. There we go. I'm pretty pleased with that. It's very nice. I thought I'd take a moment to clarify how the GMT watches work. And it's because it's a little bit different from an ordinary watch. Now, I appreciate it's a little bit difficult. We're getting a few reflections here, so just bear with me. But just to clarify, right now it is five past one in the afternoon. And you can kind of see that the, the main hands um, up here are really as you'd expect on your ordinary day-to-day -day watch. And you can kind of see it's five past one. Now it's five past one in the afternoon. So in this particular instance, the red hand here, the GMT hand, is pointing down towards the six. And as you can see, it's just a little bit after the six, between the six and the seven. Because the, if you like, the red hand takes 24 hours to go around rather than the, the usual, if you like, 12 of an ordinary watch. So if you like, it's pointing to show down here at 13. You can go, although it's not printed on the bezel, you can kind of see the little pip or the dot where it should be. So it's telling us that in, if you like, in the 24 hour clock, it's 1300. Now that's why I've got it set up here because I'm on, if you like, British summertime. Okay, so let's give a little practical demonstration of how we would, might change the time to suit the time zone of the country we're in. I'm in the UK at the moment. Um, I feel like I'm going on holiday to Greece, which hopefully is a bit cooler than it was earlier in the summer. It's two hours ahead, so uh, I'm going for a week or so. So what I want to do is to change the main hands so that they reflect Greek time, but have the uh, have the GMT time back, showing the time back home in the UK. So if you remember now, it's a little bit after quarter past one, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to pull out the stop uh, we'll just wait until the thing comes around. Well, we don't need to have to, but we'll be able to. But we're going to pull this out so that um, we can adjust this to be three o'clock or just after three o'clock in Greece. Uh, so it's just about there. So I'm just going to push it back in one stop. And then if you remember, you can kind of see the hands moving again now. But if you remember, we turned it anticlockwise to, that's it, to move the uh, GMT hand. So really, I want to set that back to about one o'clock, which is that one there. And then just push it back in again. And just screw the crown in a wee bit as well. So you can now see that we've got the main hands at Greek time, which is uh, quarter past one in the afternoon. And then we've also got the GMT hand pointing to just after 1300 for the UK time. So that's perfect if, uh, if you wanted to know what time it is back home. Now, anyone who's had an automatic watch or a manual wind will know that uh, setting time forwards is a whole pile easier than setting time backwards, which is why I chose to do it. Um, but basically, the principle is the same. You're going to set the, uh, the, the main hands to your local time and then potentially keep the red hand on the home time. You may decide to do it differently. If you're only there for a short time, you may decide that it's easier to actually just change the, the red hand to show the local time uh, and keep the other hands on home time it's entirely up to you look i think we'll wrap it up there this is uh, this is the roam from inox and watches as i said earlier it's priced currently priced at i think 200, 285 pounds which for a gmt is an absolute steal um the full price i think is a bit more over that I'm just trying to unlock my tablet to see what it is hold on yeah so the rrp is 375 um, if you're interested in getting quick, as they say, um, I'm pretty pleased with it. It looks good. Um, perfect, really holiday watch. If you can do any kind of swimming with its uh, 300 meters of water resistance. Um, yeah, that's about it. So if you are interested in Oxen, 
to get the there i think they're there to enoxonwatches.com and if you've any doubts on how to spell enoxon that's it there e-n-o-k-s-e-n watches.com um, and of course uh, go over and have a look so this is andrew for geek news central and the rome gmt